And so next, our next speaker, we'll be hearing from Renala, who is a care home worker and a POWIS member and will speak about the difficulties she faced as a care home worker during the pandemic. Please welcome Renala. Hello po, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Happy May Day! Ako po si Ranella Placides, kilala bilang isang bilang lala. Ako ay isang caregiver at member ng Pilipino Association of Workers and Immigrants of Pawis. Narito ako ngayon upang kumatawan sa international na araw ng uring manggagawa ang Filipino Migrant Workers at ilalahad din namin ang aming pakikiisa at pakikibaka ng unang manggagawa sa Pilipinas para sa isang lipunan na nagpapahalaga sa lakas pamuo ng sambayan ng Pilipino upang hindi na kailangan mag ibang bansa ang mga Pilipinong katulad ko. Ako ay naging migrant worker sa pagnanais na magbigyan ko ng magandang kinabukasan ng aking pamilya dahil nakulang na kulang ang kita ko bilang guro sa Pilipinas para sa basic na pangangailangan ng aking apat na anak. Ngunit hindi ko inakala na maging biktima pala ako ng human trafficking sa pagpunta ko dito sa US. At hindi lang yon. Ako din ay biktima ng waste theft nang ako ay naging isang live-in caregiver sa isang care home. Akala ko magiging maginhawa ang buhay ko dito sa US. Ngunit mas grabe pa pala ang mapagsamantalang mararanasan ko bilang isang migranteng manggagawa. Mahirap ang buhay ng isang caregiver, lalo na sa panahon ng pandemya. Sa kaso ko, noong 2020, sa simula ng lockdown, kulang na kulang ang PPEs na binibigay ng aking employer. Na-infect din ako ng COVID-19 noong Enero ng taong ito. Napakadelikado sa... <coughs> Excuse me. Napakadelikado sa akin dahil ako ay may underlying condition. Tatlong beses akong nagdadialisis sa isang linggo dahil sa malalang kalagayan ng aking kidney. Kaya sa araw na ito, muli-muli natin isigaw ang kahalagahan nating mga manggagawa para sa pagunlad ng ating lipunan. Nabubuhay ang mga tao sa mundo dahil sa lakas ng ating pamuo. Dapat natin ipaglaban ang ating mga karapatan at labanan, ang pagsasamantala at mga aalipin. Kaya sama-sama natin isigaw, Uring Manggagawa! Salamat po! So English translation. Good day to all of us. I am Renella Placides, or better known as Lala. I am a caregiver and member of the Filipino Association of Workers and Immigrants, or PAWI. I'm here today to represent Filipino migrant workers on International Workers' Day and to also express our solidarity with the struggle of the Filipino working class in the Philippines for a society that values the strength of the labor power of the Filipino people so that Filipinos like me do not need to work overseas. I became a migrant worker because of my desire to provide a better future for my family because my income as a teacher in the Philippines was very low for the basic needs of my four children. But I never thought I would become a victim of human trafficking when I came to the U.S. And not only that, I was also a victim of wage theft when I became a lived-in caregiver in a care home. I thought my life would be comfortable here in the U.S., but the exploitation I would experience as a migrant worker was even worse. The life of a caregiver is difficult, especially during a pandemic. In my case, in 2020, at the start of the lockdown, the PPEs provided by my employer were sorely lacking. I was also infected with COVID in January of this year. It was very dangerous for me because I have an underlying condition. I have dialysis three times a week because of my severe kidney condition. So today, let us once again proclaim the importance of the work of workers for the development of our society. People in this world depend on the strength of the working class. We must fight for our rights and struggle against exploitation and slavery. So let us shout together, Working Class! Uring Manggagawa! Thank you very much. So rapidamente.
en español. Soy trabajadora y participante de Palis. Soy trabajadora del hogar. Como mujer inmigrante, era maestra en mi país. Cuando llegué a este país, no pensé que iba a enfrentar la explotación, el tráfico humano y el robo de salarios. Soy trabajadora inmigrante durante la pandemia. No me protegieron como trabajador. Me enfermé del COVID y voy a diálisis tres veces a la semana. Eso fue muy peligroso para mí. Estoy aquí para declarar la solidaridad con los filipinos en las Filipinas y con los trabajadores de este país. Proclamamos el poder de los trabajadores porque nosotros somos los que creamos el futuro.